Good morning, Bumblebeezies. Happy Saturday. Um, it is 8.40 right now, and we are about to eat breakfast. Papa Bear went and got us Roscoe's for breakfast. How yummy. I think these are your drinks. Okay. Maybe Vanessa can get it. Yeah. Um, so let me show you guys what we got. We basically all got the same thing, the Obama special, which is a waffle and three wings. And we have like all the condiments here. Syrup, hot sauce, they gave us jam. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of syrup, you guys. You guys need more syrup? They gave a lot. Yeah. And then Papa Bear went downstairs to go get some food for Callie because um, they have like scrambled eggs. She can eat that. I just noticed that there's actually two waffles. And when I was looking at the menu, they didn't actually have the Obama special on there anymore. So I'm not sure. But I did see one that said two waffles and three wings. So I'm not sure if they just changed it to this one. But I swear it used to only come with one waffle, right? Yeah. Yeah, but now there's two. We're at Porto's. We ordered online. So we just get in this like pickup line. And it's actually not that bad right now. Order online. You just come in. Then you get into this line. But if you haven't ordered, then you get into this line outside and then the line continues inside. So definitely better to order online. We just picked up our portos. I got a guava smoothie. Mango. How about you, mango smoothie. And we got a bunch of stuff. Well, AJ didn't want to drink, but we got a bunch of stuff. So we'll show you guys once we get home. And now we're on our way home. We made it home. I will show you guys everything that we got at portos. Well, first we got these brioche buns. Vanessa already ate one. She really likes that. And then what do we have in here? Six cheese rolls and then six guava and cheese. How do you call that? Guava and cheese strudel? I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay, and then in here we have... It should be two potato balls, four chicken croquettes, and two corn croquettes, which I've never tried the corn, so I'm excited to try that. And then the churro croissant, which is new, a chocolate croissant, a chocolate muffin, and then in here is a ham and cheese croissant. And then there's also, oh, it's back here. The, how do you call these, bulio? It's just like bread, I like that, so good. And that's it, we didn't get like that many things. Oh, and then we also got like the shakes that you guys already saw. The next day. Good morning, Bumblebeezies, happy Sunday. Good morning. Happy Sunday, guys. I don't know what time it is. Maybe nine. We're at Home Depot. We just came from Home Depot. We bought some paint for the house. That, just a little small can for touch-ups. And then look what I found. <coughs> Bless you. Excuse me. Whatchamacallit. <laughs> Do you guys remember Whatchamacallit? I used to eat this a lot in high school. Do you want some? Want a bite? Okay. We walked around the garden while he was mixing our paint, and now my, my allergies are... Ugh. I had a little flashback too because mm. I used to work for Star Nursery. Mm -hmm. So seeing all the plants and little shrubs and cacti. He's like, this is called this and this is called this. <laughs> I used to deliver all of these and yeah. he knows a lot of the plants. If you've never had this, it's peanuts, caramel, and what else? It's like all bunched up in one makes it, yeah, because it sounds like a wafer. Oh, it's peanut flavored oh, wow. crisps. It's not actual peanuts. It's fla flavored peanut, I mean, peanut flavored crisps with caramel. Oh. That's why you said it's kind of like a wafer when you yeah. bite into it because it's like the Rice Krispies. Yeah. But they're peanut flavored. Can we go in here real quick? Okay. Well, I was just going to go right here to see if we can. Okay. After this, we're gonna go to Winco. We just stopped at the Dollar Tree because it was right here by Home Depot. I got a couple more of the frames for the um, baby shower. And then I got these flavor packets for water. Hold on, you guys. Let me put this down. Because I see a lot of people drinking these on TikTok, so I wanted to try it. I, ju I just got the Hawaiian Punch Berry Blue Typhoon. Hopefully they taste good. And then I got this pink lemonade. I love lemonade. I feel like that one's gonna be good. And then this crushed orange, except the girl that I watch on TikTok doesn't like this flavor. She said it tastes too chemically, but we'll see. It was only a dollar anyway, so we'll try it out. We're back 
home. We just finished grocery shopping. And you know what I realized? I was eating this candy bar at like 9 in the morning. And I only realized after I started eating it. <laughs> so I saved it. What? What is it? Whatchamacallit. Oh. Wanna try? Mm. Peanut flavored crisps with caramel. You like it? This was my favorite when I was in high school. You don't want it? What is it, Callie? Too early. But I had breakfast. Yeah, me too. Sometimes you don't even eat your breakfast and then you eat chips. Yep. Anywho, let's do a grocery haul. We spent 150. Let me get my receipt, let's see. We spent 154.45. We didn't need to buy that many meats today because some of the food that I was supposed to cook last week, I never got to I never got to cook, so it's getting carried over to this week. So we bought a lot of fruits and salad so let me let me show you guys what we got okay guys let's show you guys what we got i got some shredded lettuce for does this go in crunch wrap yeah because i got it for the crunch wraps i know we have one already but i wasn't sure if it was still good or if it went bad so we'll just replace it i got this garden salad for this girl because <laughs> she likes vegetables and this is just easy to give her because it's already chopped good. up thank you mama you're welcome <laughs> I got two bags of the classic Caesar salad kit for dinner. So we'll have one with spaghetti night and then we'll have one with Salisbury steak I'm making. So we'll have that for that night. I used to make that on Cooking Mama. You did? We got a bunch of salad kits for our lunches. We got the everything chopped kit. I've never tried this one before. It says green leaf lettuce, shredded broccoli, red and savoy cabbage, mm -hmm. mini bagel toasts, carrot, green onion and then everything bagel seasoning with everything seasoned ranch dressing the kick in barbecue ranch salad kit with barbecue ranch dressing and then i got the asian salad kit because you can never go wrong with an asian salad kit that's really good the price of the eggs finally went down this was four dollars my goodness it was almost nine dollars at one point and yes i know it's cheaper at costco but we don't go there that often um, I got this variety pack of muffins, blueberry, chocolate, and poppy seed. Can you put this over there on the, next to the cookie? Okay, we got some asparagus to go with, I don't know, I have to check my menu. <laughs> I got some plums, a green bell pepper. This I'm going to put in spaghetti. I'm for some reason craving that. I got some navel oranges. I'm going to peel and cut some and put it in our fruit salad this week. We got some apples. Cali Girl loves apples. All right, we got um, ground beef. We actually got three of these. So three pounds of ground beef, which is the, what, is this the lean one, right? 93, yeah. 93, 7. It's a perfect range. Okay. Then I bought these thin cut pork loin chops like this big pack this was only $4.89 I'm gonna make pork tonkatsu tonight and then we got some frozen fries show them how thin that is. which one pork. the I pork that thin. ready for like, my allergies are bad <coughs> excuse me oh, wow. see ready? they're already thin it's like perfect already I don't even have to pound it it's literally like a quarter inch so I'm excited. It's basically just a pork cutlet that I'm making. Um, I got two containers of the plain panko because one will be for Salisbury steak and then, well, not the whole thing. And then one for um, the tonkatsu. I didn't know if I would finish the whole thing for the tonkatsu, so that's why I bought two just in case. I got two jars of prego roasted garlic and herb for spaghetti night. We got some orange juice. This one has no pulp and it has calcium and vitamin D. And then I bought one of these body armors just to try strawberry banana. Because after I give birth, I want to drink these like for when I'm breastfeeding. Um, so 
And I've never tried it, so I want to try them and see, like, which flavors I like, you know? We got some thin spaghetti this time for some reason. Well, I saw a girl make spaghetti with thin spaghetti. Okay. Yeah, and I was like, I want to get that. Because <laughs> we normally just get the regular spaghetti, right? Yeah. Two Pop-Tarts, frosted brown sugar and strawberry. Sandwich bags because we're out. Garlic Texas toast for spaghetti night. Montreal steak seasoning just because we're out. Didn't need that specifically, but we're out. And then we got one of these crackers because cool. I used to have these and I don't know, they got lost when I moved. I know I didn't get rid of them because why would I? Because like we eat crab and stuff. So I, I don't know. So we just got one of those just to have. I also got more Almond Breeze chocolate because I love this stuff. I drink it every night. We got Coke Zero caffeine free. And then we got two cases of sparkling water, lime and grapefruit. These are both the Winco brand, they're really good. This is the last of the groceries. We got some sugar free syrup. I still like this, I still like to use that. And the Mrs. Butterworth's is like the best one that I've tried because it's thick. I got two packets of the roasted garlic mashed potatoes. You guys know I love to use the instant mash. It's so good and so easy. We got some mushrooms for the Salisbury steak. This week's fruits. We got some mandarins. This is not going in the fruit salad. The oranges are though. And then we got strawberries for the fruit salad. We got a pineapple. Bananas. And then this time we got a honeydew and mini watermelon. And then for today's lunch, we picked up some salads. Vanessa has been like really into salads lately, so I got her this one. She normally likes to get the one with like the fried chicken, the crispy chicken strips, but the one that they had was like a cob, like with blue cheese, and she doesn't like that, so. This one has ham and turkey. Um, Papa Bear got the same salad. Oh, actually, one is roast beef and turkey, and this one's ham and turkey. And then I got this one with like just bacon and tomatoes, cheese, and eggs. It doesn't come with dressing, so you have to put your own dressing, but these are only $3.98, you guys, for this huge salad. I think it's a good deal. So I just finished eating lunch. I just had that salad. It was actually a lot of salad, so that like really filled me up. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is see all this like baby stuff down here and then I have some that I just put on the coffee table you probably can't see but I just want to put everything away that way you know it's not like a huge mess down here so we're gonna put everything away get them organized upstairs and then um, I need to open up the new Yeedy that they sent they sent us a new vacu vacuum they sent us a new vacuum mop so I need to like get that open and set up and start learning how to use it because I do need to do um, like a little review for you guys um, so I'm gonna do that but first let's put away some of this baby stuff but actually I want to show you guys some stuff I don't think I showed you guys this yet this was a gift um, and it's the Ubi bottle drying rack I like this one because it stands like this way it doesn't take up a lot of room and well here's a Here's another picture on the back. And this one says, congratulations to you all on the new addition to your family. Wishing you and baby good health and many blessings from Kameki Artienda. And I am sorry that it's taking me so long to like show it in the video and to thank you. I just like have been waiting. I don't know, I was piling them up here and I just never got around to doing it, but thank you so much. I really appreciate it. We really appreciate it. These next gifts are from my coworker Aileen and her husband. I don't know if you guys have been here for a long time, you guys might remember them because Aileen used to live with us for a short little time at my parents' house. So like if you've been here for a while, you might remember her, but um, she got us, well, they got us these onesies. Super cute. I think there's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's eight in here and they're so cute. It's like food theme. Look at the carrot, it actually like lifts up. Isn't that cute? And then there's just one with like stripes, more vegetables, polka dots, more vegetables, more vegetables, and then that one. So cute, right? And then some sleepers. 
These are really nice. I really like them. So this one has dogs. And then this one says little brother. So that's really cute. Thank you. And then they got us two books, Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes. It has it in English and Spanish. So I'm excited for that. And then this book is Pandisal Saves the Day. So I'm excited. Thank you guys so much for the gifts. I really love them. Also, thank you to just everyone who has sent the baby um, a gift. We really, really appreciate it. So I think that's all the gifts. I think I already showed the other ones that are down here. So now I'm just gonna bring everything upstairs and put everything away. We're gonna take a little water break. Well, I mean, I was already on break. <laughs> I was sitting on the couch with Callie, but I'm gonna get up, we're getting up now and we're going to make some water and then we'll continue with the putting things away. I already put like all of the clothes and like everything that needed to go upstairs, I already brought that upstairs. I just have some things down here that I want to put in the garage because we're not using them right away when he's born. They're, they're things for like when he's a little older. So we're just going to store them in the garage for now. But anyways, we're going to make some water. I just put like all of the flavor packets in this cup. Uh, not cup, but mug. I got this at the ABC store when we were in Hawaii. So we have the... And these are all sugar-free. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. We have the Crush Orange. We have Pink Lemonade. And then Hawaiian Punch Berry Blue Typhoon. I think I'm going to try the Berry Blue Typhoon. The Hawaiian Punch. I'm surprised they put these nubs in here. Oh, wow. They're not paying attention. <laughs> I think that I should have dissolved this first and then added the ice because I don't know if that'll like affect the dissolving like the clumps and stuff but it's too late so we'll do that next time I don't want to be drinking like clumps and stuff you know it smells good the Hawaiian punch berry blue typhoon it smells like kool-aid I've seen like so many flavors on TikTok. I don't know if you guys know there's like water talk <laughs> where where people will make their waters. My um, Dollar Tree didn't have that many flavors, but look, it's purple. It's blue, but from the outside it looks purple. Okay, let's try it. That's really good. It would be too sweet for you. You need to add less, but it's really good. I like it. So all of this is going into the garage for now. I mean, the bathtub, we could technically put that upstairs, but we're just gonna keep all of this in the garage for now. This corner is getting better. This bin just has a bunch of baby things um, that I need to go through and put away. I got the new vacuum mop set up. So that's charging right now. Once it's done, I need to figure out how to use it. And we finally got our yeah. replacement Kasori. The replacement air fryer it, look, it looks exactly like the old one i mean it looks a little bit updated but it's basically the same model so i'm excited to have an air fryer again because yeah it does it looks very similar yeah i we haven't had an air fryer in like a month and that made me realize how much we actually use the air fryer the other one the buttons were visible this one is lights up no the other one was like that too lights oh, up was? Mm -hmm. oh okay i thought the actual buttons were visible. like these i think because ours was dirty <laughs> or maybe because we use it so much it already imprinted on the screen <laughs> but look at the handle it's different it has this like silver anyways i'm gonna cut the fruit now so we have honeydew watermelon pineapple strawberry and then i'm also gonna do some navel oranges okay so vanessa and i are at marshall's we came to look for gifts for the baby shower some for the diaper raffle and then, actually, I think just for the diaper raffle, but we're doing like three diaper raffle prizes. These body scrubs look good, but this is soap. Can, these are, this is so cute. It says finest triple milled soap. Isn't it so cute? It looks like lemons. Now we're looking at the baskets so that we could put like all the prizes in the basket. We just can't decide which one we want. Well, actually, that's a lie. I have these two, but I'm trying to find a third one. So 
So we're back home. We got three of the baskets and then we got like a bunch of goodies to like fill the baskets. And then I also got these for baby boy. Oh, Callie, show them what you got from Marshall's. Callie came with us, but she didn't go inside. She just stayed in the car with Papa Bear. Okay, these are really cute. They had a lot of Disney things, but I had to like hold back because I feel like he already has so many Disney things. I mean, this is Disney, but he has like a lot of like the main Disney stuff. So I got this for him in a size 12 months. It says, this hero crawls. It's a t-shirt, shorts, and a bodysuit. Super cute. And then this, it's a t-shirt and the jumpsuit. And it says, roll in with my daddy and it has cars and it's so cute. Show them your toy, Callie. She got a Patron bottle. Oh my goodness, don't get drunk. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna start on dinner now. It is 6.30 already, actually. And I'm making pork tonkatsu, pork tonkatsu. So we have, um, and I'm making pork tonkatsu. It's basically like a pork cutlet. So we have these thin cut pork loin chops. I'm gonna season and then Seasoned flour, I just seasoned with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. This is just plain panko, and then just um, some eggs. I'm not gonna season the panko because I just put a little bit of salt on it when it comes out of the fry. Out of the fry? When it comes out of the frying pan. Here's what the pork looks like before we fry. Here's some that I just seasoned. So after you season, you just dip it in the flour, the egg, and then the panko. Looks good. I forgot to show you guys, but this is um, this is what the pork looks like. I cut it up into strips. That way it's easier for everyone to just grab what they want. It's easier to eat. These are already cooling. Once you take them out of the oil, you want to season it with salt. I think I said that already. Yes. Then we also have corn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did you cook it? Just uh, with just butter? butter? And then some of the Kinder's Master Salt with uh, garlic, sea salt, and butter. Mm. 